Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Joey Galvez, one half of your host of Explain Yourself, and I want to let you guys know about a really cool book from our friend of the show, Eli Shockey. This one is called The Greylock, and it's a story where magic is a commodity. Potions are sold at corner stores. Orcs and dwarves earn a living in cubicles, not on the battlefields. But there are those who resist the house's magic laws, branded a criminal and forced to live as a want for hire. There is a spell slinger they call the Greylock. Check this one out. You guys can pre-order issue three right now with code JAN241939. And make sure you guys are heading over to your favorite LCS and letting them know that you want Greylock number three. And maybe pick up the first two issues. Uh, you could do that at the Scout web store. So make sure you guys are grabbing the Greylock number three, JAN241939 at previewsworld.com. Okay, everybody, welcome to the latest episode of All Too Real 2. My name is Michael E. Cullen II, and with me, as always, is... It's Sesame Spider and Carta. Sounds like a great name. Did you legally change it again? Not this time, no. Oh, okay, good. I was kind of... I ran out of money, I can't keep doing it. Yeah, so that's why people should, uh, you know, go to our Patreon. Or to our tea public and help out the show. Yeah. Yes. Do it. I mean, if Alex Jones can make eight hundred thousand dollars a day, you know, selling, you know, unproven supplements, I think you know, I think we're entitled to you know a few bucks here and there. You know, I I think I think that's a fair trade. You'd think so. Mm. Um. Yeah. Also, while I'm mentioning it, you know, just. Check out all of our social media and everything at alltoorealtwo.com. I normally say that at the end of the episode, but people are probably tuned out by then, so now I'm just going to say it right up front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, um, anyways, today on the show, we are covering the 1979 animated TV series, Spider Woman. It aired... Um, from September 22nd of 1979 to January 5th of 1980. For one season. Consisting of 16 episodes. Good old Saturday morning cartoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Based on the Marvel Comics character. <clears throat> Loosely. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, because the... Co so... You know, for all the, you know, people who are talking about, you know, Marvel's going woke or, or, you know, the superhero shows are all going woke. Well, apparently they've been doing so since 1977. So uh, it's not a new thing. You know? I don't know. I think it's new. H history is awesome. And, and, mm, and no, it sucks. Awesome. It sucks. We should never remember anything from the past. Yeah, apparently, because yep. Never. they specifically made this character mm -hmm. as on purpose for that specific, like, specific reason, like, to give girls, like, their own version of Spider-Man. Like, that was the actual intention behind it. And so, like, when they say, like, oh, well, they're just trying to, to you know, um, a pander to the, the social justice warriors. Well, apparently they were doing that since 1977, so... Apparently, you shouldn't watch anything from Marvel since 1977. And that includes, mind you, the best Marvel film of all time, Howard the Duck. So, um, Oh, yes. Gotta scrap that from your viewing list right now, mm -hmm. too. You know? I mean, that was a very woke movie. Um, oh, totally. You woke. know. Not really. But <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a weird one, but... <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. There was some interspecies. Um... I mean, and, and, and it did, you know, promote the uh, 
the expansion of respecting duck actors everywhere. Yeah. So, <clears throat> by the way, you should you should check out our review of of Howard the Duck. Yes, uh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um. So, this show, from what I'm reading, was created in response to Filmation. Um, they had an animated series called Web Woman. Mm. And actually, from what I'm understanding, is that the uh, character of Spider-Woman was created so they could secure the copyright of the character name. Wow. Yeah. So... And they didn't want it to be, they didn't want Web Woman to be confused with Spider Man. And, and so they created Spider Woman so they could have their own feminine hero. Interesting. But yeah. they ended up calling it Web Women anyway, so it's like. Um... <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Um, no, I'm saying Marvel created Spider Woman in response okay. to oh. Web Woman. No, I, I understand that. I just meant that the other company. Whatever they weren't going to try to make their own version of Spider Woman, they just call it Web Woman, I guess, or something. I don't know. No, no, Web Woman came first before Spider. Oh, I got you. Is what I'm saying. You. Yeah. So, so basically, what what happened was is that Marvel created Spider Woman in response to Web Woman. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, she Maybe has that's why similar. Feels so yeah, rush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's um, and Web Woman. Uh, trying to figure out. Um, she came out a year the the same year, I think. Um, yeah, the the TV series came out the same year, so. Wow. So yeah, Mar- Marvel wanted to make sure that they could secure the right to their copyright, so they released Spider Woman. Yeah. So, if I'm understanding this right, I might be completely wrong with this. This is just what I'm reading online, and you know how reliable online sources are well as long as you're not reading you know we got this covered or giant freaking robot or whatever you oh know. that's the only places i get my news well then i don't know what to tell you then mm-hmm. uh because <laughs> yeah. they'll be yep they'll be saying batgirl is actually gonna be released in the uh, mm-hmm. only in small theaters or whatever you know because we got or they some... just keep sharing a, a a news story from six months ago over and over again like it's new yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gotta that's, love it. That's... Anyways, um, what happens in this pilot episode here of um, Spider-Woman? Not to be it, confused it's, with it's, Web-Woman. Um, yeah, it's not Web-Woman. <clears throat> it's kind of a doozy, really. It's just weird. Uh, so they do like the... It's called Pyramids of Terror, by the way, too. So Yeah, Pyramids yeah. of... Yeah, that's the first episode. And... Um, it's kind of got like the intro going on, like telling the story, the origin, you know, <clears throat> pretty much very similar. You know, as a child, she was bit by a like a poisonous spider, and but then her dad, uh, who was like I guess like worked in the laboratory, gave her some quote spider serum that was supposed to cure her, but that's what then made her have the powers so so instead of spider giving peter the powers it was the serum that gave her her powers which was barely a difference okay and then uh and it just kind of she she you know works she's an editor of a it's almost like they're kind of taking like elements of superman and stuff and they're kind of putting it in because she's like the editor of a magazine called justice magazine there, that's another thing too right there the woke people like oh man like the social justice warriors are taking over Marvel. She was literally an editor of a magazine called Justice Magazine. So, you know, yep. just saying, like, you know, don't learn your history, you know, a little bit before you start attacking people for being, you know, mm-hmm. politically correct or whatever. Just, just point that out there really quick. And, um, but that's kind of like her cover, you know, so that, and also too, so she could kind of get like leads on what's going on so she can fight crime as Spider Woman, things like that. Pretty brilliant strategy, really. And then, uh, but we find out though that Spider Man's actually in this episode, and he he's he apparently appears in a few episodes. So he's he's off in Egypt, 
investigating something, and then um, it turns out that he uh, it's it's a trap, and he gets caught in t- in one of like the tombs or whatever, and then uh, one of the mummies uh, turns to life and like finds him or or whatever, and then she you know she's got her own spider sense, and so she's seen like images of like Spider Man being like trapped or caught or whatever, so. You know, she realizes, and right at the same time, her photographer, who's kind of like, I guess, kind of like acts like he's her boyfriend, even though they're not, they're not a couple or whatever. But yeah. like, he's like taking a picture of her close to like a mummy for some kind of exhibit or whatever. And, but then she realizes, like, oh shit, this mummy's gonna come to life, and then it does right before she's like out of reach. So the mummy's like starts like. And he's like, don't worry, worry, my fair lady, I'll take care, you know. That yeah, whole. and his name is Jeff Hunt. Our our main character, by the way, Spider-Woman, is Jessica Drew. Yeah, Jessica Drew. So you got, so that's kind of too, like Nancy Drew, you know. Like yeah, a, that's where they got the name. It was actually, it, na- it was named after the daughter of one of the creators, and the last name was taken from Nancy Drew. See, it just, there's a lot of, like, yeah. these, these sort of, like, combining things, you know, which is still pretty cool. And, um... <laughs> And he's like, "Don't worry, my fair lady." I mean, he doesn't say those words, but like, "I'll take care of you" because he's the man and stuff. But then he immediately gets thrown out the window, and then, so yep. she then turns herself into Spider Woman, which is cool. Because so, like, another thing they they borrowed from DC, she spins around and she that that's what makes her get into her costume like, form. Yeah, that's what one did though too. So mm-hmm. and. You know, Wonder Woman's DC. Yeah. So back then, DC and Marvel were just kind of like just blatantly copying off each other. Like, yeah. Not, I mean, but to be just, to be uh, fair, there's only so many different ways you can show somebody changing from one thing to another. Yeah. I, yeah. I, so, yeah. Honestly, I think I think the phone booth Superman was probably the most creative. Yeah. Um, of doing that. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was I was talking earlier. My my uh my dad saw a, a meme on facebook that said you know a phone booth in the like 1980s or whatever and showed a regular phone booth and then said a phone booth today and it showed a toilet and oh. i was thinking maybe 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 now uh you know like maybe on episodes of superman and lois or something um superman should start changing his costume in the toilet <laughs> it would make more sense though too because you got more privacy in a toilet than you do in a phone do. booth. yeah so yeah exactly there's not <laughs> much privacy in a phone booth so i don't know and then mm-hmm. um and why would it always have to be a phone booth? Why couldn't it just be somewhere private? I think it was always, it wasn't always a phone booth. It was just one of oh, those okay. common, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's because they were trying to promote phone booths at that time as a business. So it was like a subtle way of like, hey, Superman, you know, goes to a phone booth. So you should too, you know, kind of, I don't know. And then, uh, <laughs> Probably not, but like <laughs> they should have always they should have they should have made him like always change at a library or something. That's, yeah, there yeah. you go. It was like, oh man, Superman goes to libraries, you know, bro. So <laughs> go read some stuff there, you know, about super strength or whatever. No, and then, um, so she saves the the photographer, you know, and then uh, he's like, oh, where's where's Jessica? And she's like, oh, don't worry, I saved Jessica. She's fine too, or whatever. Blah blah blah. And then, you know, she eventually goes back into her regular clothes, and they're like, we gotta go to Egypt, and they're like, what? What's in Egypt? And it's like, oh, stories is there, or something like that, and then Billy, her nephew, wants to go, but he's like 12, and she's like, no, you know, you can't come, but then he sneaks into the... Apparently, it's a really successful mag- magazine, because they have their own helicopter. Yeah, which which, just... which which later on brings up some issues. Yeah, I'll, play. I'll tell you later. Yeah, and then, yeah, there's some issues going on in this episode. Yeah, yeah. so basically, just to like wrap to make it a little bit more concise. So, what turns out is happening is that mummies are actually dead people. They're aliens. They have just been kind of lying in like a cryo state, sort of, for like thousands of years, and that the pyramids are actually spaceships. And they were like gonna take over the world, I guess, but they had to wait a long time for some reason to do it. And like their plan was to like just turn everyone into mummies, which yeah, I'm not 
exactly sure how that's like conquering a a land or a world if you just change everyone in yourself. Like I don't really know. Well, like, it's about as good a, concert... about as good a plan as most Marvel things, honestly. <laughs> Well, it's like what? What is your like? Like what is like? Okay, like I get like you know Genghis Khan. He's going yeah. around. He's freeing people. He's, you know, he's like enslaving them. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not turning them into himself. Like you know what I mean? Like well, it's it's the, like, it's 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 basically the the vampire or mummy, um, you know, prerogative of doing things. You know, like you basically just got to change everybody into you. I guess I don't know. That, so that's what they're. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they're doing, I guess. The leader, he was like, and he's like, shoots off these like, you know, little laser, th- I don't know what, just turns them into mummies, and then almost turns Spider-Man into one, but since he was wearing a suit, it, it didn't take as much or whatever, or take longer to yeah. wrap into like a mummy, mummy form, so then she finally, she finally gets there, she ends up just jumping out of the helicopter at one point. And they're like, Jessica, no! And then, you know, they think she's dead, and it's like, you couldn't see <laughs> her getting her uniform and flying down there after you saw her jump out of the helicopter, bro? Like, what? That is stupid, that's why. It was so stupid. Mm-hmm. And then, <clears throat> I'm like, probably skipping over so much here, but like, and then, so we find out that, like, the pyramids, some of them were like, kind of like, actually, like, hidden underneath the ground, so they're like rising up now too, like not just the ones that are already standing. And then I tell you what though, like the way they resolve this issue is like the dumbest thing. Like the, the acting is so bad from at least from the villain's perspective. Yeah, like it, it's so like over the top. I mean, this is like a cartoon for little kids. Well, yeah, it doesn't like, have to be great. And so they find out that their power comes from the triangle pyramid shape that's that's where they're generating all their power from so then spider woman and spider-man get the brilliant idea of oh if we just like shoot our webs into the shape of a cube then they don't have their power anymore. it's like what the fuck? yeah i mean that's the dumbest idea ever like like it's webs okay it's not like i mean yeah, your your webs are not that strong to withstand like lasers from like a, an alien civilization that's been like waiting for like three thousand years to finally take control. Yeah. But no, they they just they make it into a cube shape and then it just floats up in space and they're like the guy, immediately the guy accepts defeat. He's like abort mission. They they found our weakness and. and the, it's just like, wait a minute, dude. You've been waiting for three thousand years to 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 like implement this plan, and like, you like the, the first the first sign of any kind of resistance. You're like, all right, abort mission. Uh, it's so, like, wow. So the things I wanted to bring up really quick. Sure. Travel. Hmm. Okay. At one point, they're in Egypt. Um, Spider Man is in London being attacked by the uh, mummy guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she says, Spider-Man needs my help, and so they get in, we need to get into the helicopter and fly to London. From Egypt. A five hour and 20 minute flight, I looked it up. From Cairo to London. Wow. And then later on, they get into the thing, and they're like, we gotta go to see this doctor in, in, uh, in Geneva, which is like an hour and a half flight. But it seems like they're just like walking, you know, down the street. I forgot. So how's Spider-Man <laughs> getting in London? I thought he was in Egypt in the beginning. Or he, he was, but then he was in London later. And then the, oh. the mummy guy came to London because he was trying to take over the world. So he was just, you know, going to another big city. And oh, there. that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah but, was... but, but, but somehow... See, see... I can even, you know, suspend the disbelief that this mummy, because they're an ancient, you know, powerful mummy, they could teleport or do something from from Cairo to London in less than five hours and 20 minutes. But a helicopter at full speed 
Yeah. It's going to take them five hours and 20 minutes. From Cairo to London? Yes. That that actually seems kind of short. I, I would assume it would be way longer than that. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, but, well. but, but still. Plus two. She, she's oh. having this spite. She's having her spider sense in Egypt. Mm-hmm. And says, Spider-Man needs my help. And we see this scene where Spider-Man's being, you know, like, turned into a mummy on the side of a building in London. Yeah. And and she gets into their helicopter. And, I mean, my my opinion, like, does it, was he up there for five hours? Yeah. Well, I think so, (laughs) because they explain that, like, Probably because of his suit mm-hmm. and also his powers that it was taking longer for him to actually, like, be turned into a mummy kind of thing. Yeah. The guy even said, like, you can't wait forever, Spider-Man, or, or you know, whatever yeah. type of thing. And uh, But wait, though, so they actually went to Egypt first, though, from America. So they got, so you got tag on that time yeah, as um, well. Um, yeah. Let's see how long that so, is. So that would be like a what, 16-hour flight, probably, you know, to Egypt. Let me see. From America, wherever, I'm not sure what city. Okay, they... like, let's say from, okay, let me see here. Let's see. America to Egypt. Flight time. Okay, let's say we're let's say we're flying from Los Angeles to Egypt. That's 16, okay. 16 hours and forty minutes. Yeah, so I, I figured it'd be something like that. Yeah. So, so all right, so we got mm-hmm. sixteen hours, and then she's also doing some investigating work while she's in Egypt. It's not like they just landed in Egypt and immediately went to mm-hmm. London. So you've got to tag on at least an hour or two from there. So it's eighteen hours plus five. Yeah, but but so, I mean, I mean, they 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 hung out in in um Egypt for a little bit, and then she had her Spidey sense that told her that Spider Man was in yeah. trouble because the uh, mummy guy left. Right, um, but you yeah. also got to take into consideration that helicopters need uh, fuel, fuel, yeah, for them planes. So how are they mm-hmm. stopping for just a whole bunch of details that are not important, but they are to us. And then, <laughs> they, they, they are to us, but they're not to the nine-year-old uh, boy that was watching this exactly, in 1970. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Nine or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Important to be realistic about shows about people with spider powers, you know? <laughs> so, just like how, you know, people were bitching about Captain Marvel. Like, oh, it's so unrealistic, yet, yeah. you know, she's super serum that can give her, you know, from yeah. the tree or but you or, know. But then again, you know, people did complain about the travel time in Miss Marvel as well, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> to get to oh it. yeah that's right so, like, like, uh, like how the how the uh the the bad guys got to uh got to karachi like so fast too so <laughs> yeah that's true and plus yeah too, like in, in this show though too she's got she's got some different abilities of spider-man she's got she doesn't have like the super strength that he does but she can sort of fly with like her well that she can she can fly and then um you know, with like her webs, but she can actually um, fly. It's not just like using the webs as like a way to like carry her. Like she could literally just like fly. Yeah, it's like kinda... um they they changed a lot of her stuff from the comic books. Mm-hmm. The the series changed Spider Man's Spider Woman's um origin from an alienated spy to a magazine editor who got her powers after being injected with a spider serum as a child. Uh, the series did not feature her superhuman strength, which she has in the comic books, instead giving her a Spider-Man-like Spidey sense, spider sense, which she didn't have in the comics, and the ability to fly. The comics would eventually include the ability to fly. So, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and it was just it was just a bad episode. I mean, maybe it gets better over the series. Well, and but... my thing is, is compared to many shows of that era, it's pretty average. It's not like good or bad. You know what I mean? It's okay. like pretty much because like I grew up on these type of shows because I was yeah. uh, you know I was born in the late seventies, so I had uh, 
you know, plenty of mindless mornings watching this or watching the reruns of stuff like this, you know, when I was a kid. So I probably watched this show too, you right. know, at some point, even though I was only like one or two when it came out. But right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, it's hard to say, but yeah. Any final thoughts on it? Uh, yeah, there's this part at the end where they're like, oh my god, we thought we lost you. <laughs> or something like that. And, and, like, it was like this look of, like, I'll never tell. Or so, it was just like the yeah. easiest, like, like I, I don't know. It was just hilarious. And then, uh, <clears throat> I'm not even sure if we're miss. Oh, well, yeah, because so, like, Spider Man's like, thanks for saving me. You know, maybe we should work together sometime, you know, because I don't even know if he even knew that she existed. Like, yeah. Like, you know, which is kind of cool because, like, you know, like how, like, in the Flash and stuff like that, like, we know that there are, like, multiple speedsters. Like, it's not just him, right? So, like, that's just common, common knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. So, e- like, even though he continued to call himself the fastest man alive for like several seasons in the opening credits, even though there's <laughs> other people that are sometimes faster than he is, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, <laughs> but whatever, yes, okay, Barry, you know, you, you, you want to <laughs> have your ego stroke, it's fine, but um, because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure, um, um, your stepbrother Wally was faster than you for a while, and then okay, anyway, that's that's yeah, all I, but the point I make, you know, is like. You know, with Spider Man, your, your, your step brother, brother in law. Well, you step brother, brother, yeah, because <laughs> you're, you're adopted. So technically, you you were in love with your quasi stepsister, but yeah. not not well because it was like a foster. Uh-huh. So it wasn't the same thing. As I know. Like, I just like to pick at that. That's funny. But it's kind of. It, it, I mean, it is a little bit weird. It's, yeah. It's not. It's like. It's like removed a second time over. Mm-hmm. Like it's not just step siblings. It's like a step step sibling, I guess you would call it or whatever. So fine, whatever, Barry. You know, do your thing. But like, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but you know, it's kind of cool to have, like, you know, it's Spider Man. Like to know that there's other people out there, you know, with similar, you know, abilities. Which you know, I don't know. You know, I haven't really read much of the comics. I'm pretty yeah. sure they introduce people that have similar abilities that he does or whatever. Yeah. But anyways, back to back to Spider Woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I don't know. <laughs> it was an interesting episode. It was okay. It might get better, you yeah. know, throughout the season. But do you want to hear some that... re- reviews of the series? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Here's uh one. It just says girl power. This is from Bevo, Bevo, B-E-V-O, 13687, um, or 678, sorry, becoming number dyslexic all of a sudden, um, July 4th of 2021. Great series with some awesome original episodes and some marvelous acting. That's the whole thing. So, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Want to hear another, another short one? Uh, that I yeah, that sure. I I liked the headline for first, but then I read the comment. <laughs> live oh. action, live action, please. Which I was thinking earlier too. I was like, hey, they should do uh, you know because like Sony has the rights to like the Spider Verse characters, and yeah. I think she's part of that. So that why didn't why haven't Sony made a live action Spider Woman movie yet? You know, yeah, that would do a lot better than Morbius or something. You know, um, <laughs> the uh. Maybe not as good as Venom, but still, I don't know. Um, but this is a 4 out of 10. It says live action, please. And this is from Mr. Rebel 80382 mm. on December 24th, Christmas Eve of 2020. <laughs> okay, it says a live action movie should be made, but I'm sure Hollywood would, would politicize it either by blaming evil... Uh, by blaming the evil white man or heterosexuality. Okay. Like, all right. My head hurt reading that. Like what? Like I still just I don't. Like I really don't understand. 
this like reaction. I mean, I do, but I don't at the same time. Yeah. Like, I understand like the <clears throat> the the fear impulse of being like replaced and you're you know you're no longer relevant, which you know most most of these people were never relevant to begin with, but whatever. They mm-hmm. imagine themselves at one point in their lives to be relevant, which is yeah. You know, to, and to now they're quote being replaced <laughs> by other people that have always already existed. So how how are you being replaced? Like when? Well, it's just the- because they're they're afraid, and um, that you know by including other people and in things that uh, they're somehow going to be excluded, which doesn't make any sense. It's like it's, it's 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 the same reason that people are upset that there's uh there there's um veggie uh sausage at uh at Cracker Barrel, right? That somehow adding that to the menu means that the rest of the menu doesn't exist or something. I'm confused. That's the thing too. It's like like <clears throat> adding to <clears throat> is somehow seen as replacing. Like it's the same reason why like uh like quote, gender critical feminists hate trans people so much because they think somehow trans people having rights takes away rights from them. And it's like human rights are not a finite resource. Like they're like it's a tan it's like an intangible abstract thing. Like it's not something you could touch and take. You know what I mean? Like there's it's not like food where there's also only so many boxes to go around like in you got to ration them out like it doesn't. So, so that explains the Cracker Barrel thing. They're just worried that there's not going to be enough space for their uh, regular sausage in the freezer or something. I don't know. It's like, I'm joking. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, it's just, I know you're joking. But it's, just, it, it's like, I, I understand like the fear impulse, but at the same time, like, I, I don't, I don't know of any single movie or show or, or book that's quote woke mm-hmm. where like they literally say like the the white man's the problem of the world or the yeah. heterosexual people are evil and they need to be replaced by gay people like i never like so everything has to be like an inference from them and their own projections onto the maybe there is maybe there's like one movie they saw where they blamed the white man or something and so like mm-hmm. now every show and their mind does that i don't know maybe i don't either irritable you know like (laughs) Uh, i don't know i don't know it's like it's like people getting upset because uh giancarlo esposito wants to be uh he he said that he would be interested in playing uh professor x and he's and, and he's a he's an he's a an italian black man you know so they're like so you people know. are mad at that. Yeah, they're they're mad yeah. because he was not white. He's he's okay. half he's half well he's half white, but he's like you know. But, he's like, but yeah, yeah, still amazing actor. And I'm not trying to be mean here, mm-hmm. but Patrick Stewart's like almost ninety years old at this point. Like, yeah, at some point, I hate to say it, he's gonna die, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be sad. But yeah, like you going to have him play Professor X in, in perpetuity? I mean, like... No. You know? <laughs> I mean, the only way you can do it is if you go all uh, Peter Cushing in, um, in Rogue One, you know, and you recreate him CGI, oh. and that oh, did, I, that didn't turn out right. Um, I, just, so. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he looked... It looked fine visually, but I didn't like it. it no. It was... It, 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 there was... It was something off. It was uncanny, and then uncanny. Yeah. Movie. But yeah... <clears throat> I don't know. Anyways, it's just yeah, but I really would like to see a live action uh, Spider Woman though. That'd be kind of yeah, cool. And and, and 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 right now, you think with Sony trying to create their own little world, maybe they do have one in development. That would be interesting to see if they do come out with that because yeah. it, it because you've got a character who is essentially similar in some ways to Spider Man, except for female that you can um, put out as your hero, and you don't even have to deal with. Uh, you know, making uh, Peter Parker based, you know, content. Another thing too, I mean, like Miles Morales as the other Spider Man. You know, they could make a live action Miles Morales too. You know, it's just, mm-hmm. or maybe do one where they're both in it. You know, something. 
Yeah, especially with the multiverse thing, if they're going to go that route. And also, mm-hmm. too, like, you know, she's got a different backstory, or, or at least yeah. several backstories, where at one point she was an agent of Hydra, so that'd be kind of cool thing to explore. You know... Well, I don't know if Sony would have rights to Hydra, so that'd be... Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Cause, gotcha. Yeah, Disney would have the rights to that. So, oh. Yeah, so, so there's only certain elements that Sony has rights to. They have, and, and, like, you know, they have rights to all of the Spider-Man adjacent characters, like ones that are part of his universe, like that were created in Spider-Man comic books or are known as part of his, like, world. Oh my god, so that's very confusing. So Moon yeah, Knight... I mean, I mean, sure, there's certain is... things like like Moon Knight is, you know, obviously like, you know, he's a he's a Marvel character, but it's kind of like, you know, when they had the the um the Fox, you know, X Men things, and you did have you did have two um, versions of of Quicksilver because they both kind of had the rights to the character. Okay, so that's why they were able to do two different so... ones. That's so weird. So, but there, but Spider Man did show up in a few Moon Knight comics. But what you're saying is, is that these characters had to originate from yeah, it'd be sc- like and, and be Spider-Man. associated primarily with them. You know, like it's like because Spider Man's probably shown up in like everybody's comic book. You know, in the Marvel, yeah, Marvel think, yeah, universe. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, he's shown up in like Captain America and Hulk comics and stuff. You know, from time to time too and whatnot. So yeah. Okay, that's pretty. That's, yeah, that's really interesting. But yeah, yeah. so Spider Man mm-hmm. woman. I mean, I'd see it. I mean, I know. I saw, I saw her uniform and stuff, or from the recent comic kind of books, and it looks pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, you know, different. You know, they'll probably they'll probably make it where she has maybe some. Well, she already did have some different powers. She could shoot out these like venom mm-hmm. things out of her hands, which you know Spider Man can't do. You know, yeah. So like, you know, who would be your dream casting? Who? Yeah. Uh, just off the top of my head, I don't know why. Probably because I've been watching um, Batman: Dark Knight Rises. But I think Anne Hathaway would probably be a good. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm just thinking of her. She played a good Catwoman, in my mm-hmm. opinion. So, um, but I'd go. Uh, I would go Selena Gomez. Who Selena Gomez? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Just popped in my head too. So. <laughs> I mean, that might work too. I yeah. mean, I don't. I don't really. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't think Anne Hathaway's done much though since in the past few years. I don't oh, think she's she's, been in a she's whole done it. She's actually done a whole lot, but it's not oh, like not like okay. on a big scale, you know. Oh, okay. She's constantly working. Um. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, who who knows? Um. Hopefully, they make one of those one day. Yeah. Any final thoughts here before we wrap things up? No, just um, <clears throat> you know, it's on Disney Plus the whole season. Yeah, uh, so I want to check it out. You know, I, I'm I'm planning on watching some of the other episodes to see if yeah, they me too. A little bit better, or if it's just gonna kind of continue to be kind of corny, you know, whatever. Yeah, and if you want us to cover any of the other old uh, animated series that are on Disney Plus, let us know. Oh, yeah. I do have one more thing I wanted to say. Yeah, uh, you can actually post the picture probably in in the in the the notes or whatever. Yeah, so. I, I have, like, the coolest doctor in history, really. Mm-hmm. Like, like he's, like, he's just, like, a super cool dude. And he's uh, he's a uh, Turkish-American. Uh, he's he's lived, you know, in America for most of his life. And uh, <clears throat> he gave me a Turkish um, issue of Spider-Man. I, I don't, it doesn't really have a date on it, but it's called, you know, mm-hmm. Ar- Arumjik Adam. And Arumjik means spider, and Adam, Adam means man, of course. Yeah. And uh, it says Super Siri, so I'm guessing that might be series because it's just S E R I. But it's got a picture of Spider Man, you know, kicking some dude behind him who's wearing like a blue mask that only covers like his head and his eyes. And it looks like he's got some kind of kind, some kind of spider on spider. his chest. Yeah, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if this is like a like a villain that only was like from like a Turkish edition or if this was like a regular um <clears throat> but I sent you the picture earlier so if yeah. you wanna yeah I'll, wanna I'll, put that, I'll you know, post it on our I'll I can post it on our Instagram if nothing else. Um for the for the show. Yeah. And it looks like he's chasing 
Anyways, yeah. Uh, are the know, are the I'm story? Like, do the stories in there look like they're like adapted from the English comic book? I mean, the American comic books, or do they? It looks like <laughs> it look in the very first um, image. It looks like he's wearing the black Spider Man suit, huh. and um, and I I don't really know exactly what he's saying. Yeah, uh, she, the woman. He's he's chasing after a woman. They're they're like flying though or something, and she says, uh, "Hire." Uh, yak, yaklishma, yaklishma bana, bana, and I think that means no, but I yeah. am some or I am beautiful. Uh, I don't know. And then um, I just wonder if they're like. I mean, it's it's probably not easy to tell. I wonder if they're like you know stories that were written by American artists and yeah, then translated, or if they were written because, specifically for Turk Turkish comic. I mean, uh, audience. Yeah, I, I need to learn more Turkish because yeah. he's saying Benden. Keddy's in there, so that's the word for cat. So I don't know if he's chasing that for like a Marvel version of Catwoman, or I don't know. Well, there's Black, um, Black Cat is one of his main. Um, that might be. Yeah, was, characters. So yeah, that'd be interesting. Because that was well, not, that was actually, ironically, I mean, that was a character that uh, at one point they were talking about having Anne Hathaway play, but then she went on to play Catwoman. Yeah, 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 I, I got, yeah, I gotta learn more about what they're saying, but it looks oh. like he's going after um, Black Cat. It looks oh, like that's um, cool. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, we, I'll, uh, I'll definitely share that on the Instagram, if cool. not, if not in the show notes or both. Um, so keep an eye out for that, folks. Um, all too real two dot com. You can find all the links to the Instagram and our YouTube and our Facebook and any of that good stuff. Um, also check out our Patreon and our T public where you can get some cool shirts. Um, and be good to each other folks. And remember, I love you and Sesame loves you. Yeah. And bye-bye. Thanks for listening to all too real Two podcast, a Cullen park production produced and edited by Michael E. Cullen, the second. Music by Matthew Hawes. Subscribe and share the show. Visit us at CullenPark.com.